today's podcast. This one's going to be a doozy. Uh, I'm usually pretty pumped about the podcast that I do. This one, I don't know if it's a great idea. I don't know if it's a good idea, but before I get started, I would just ask because I'm seriously kind of going for it here. I just ask that uh, we don't say anything bad about CEO or eBay staff or anybody else in the comments because there's a very good chance you're going to be watching this and they'll be seeing your comments as well. Uh, but I'm going to jump into it in a second. I'm just going to say my hellos, but this is going to be a message and a reach out to Jamie Iannone. I would like to... Uh, I, I got I got some stuff to say, but this is a big risk. This is a huge risk. There will be resolution to this risk one way or another, good or bad. Uh, so stay stay tuned. Um, okay, Noel. Good morning. Good morning, Noel. A new day dawning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. A new day dawning. Uh, Scott Bearded Picker, stop staring at me. Good afternoon to you too, or good morning. You're right on the edge, right? Noon time. Uh, lag sold a Lennox AM FM cassette player new nice guy guru hey Josh my first live love your show welcome that's awesome thank you for being here um, Carl eBay life says hi Josh hi Carl how are you Todd the silver hair stacker howdy Josh Graff says good afternoon good afternoon Josh and Todd okay here goes now all this is unrehearsed um, so this is off the cuff. I'm going to do this under the assumption that the CEO, Jamie Iannone, I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name, it's Iannone, is going to see this. But here goes. I have been accused of being a complainer. I don't see myself that way. I, I see it as here are what I think the issues are. Here's what I believe is the fault of the platform. Here's what is the fault of the economy. Here's what the seller's fault. So I'm trying to be very unbiased in the way I approach things. Now, whether, and this is not coming from me, whether deserved or not, there is a brand problem with not only sellers, but also with eBay. And there is a, a very adversarial relationship. And I can tell you from my point of view, because the sellers that are on here, I consider many of them to be friends. A lot of them I haven't met in real life, but I would I would go to their house and sit down in their living room and have uh, coffee with them any day of the week. And I would invite them to my place any day of the week. So I, I consider myself to be a friends with a lot of these people. There are a lot of sellers here that have six-figure, seven-figure, eight-figure stores. I get the emails. They show me these big warehouses that they're running. It's, it's really impressive. But the common thread is they all feel as though they have an adversarial relationship with eBay. That's not good. That's not good. Um, and I think most of that comes from sellers feeling that their voices are not being heard, that it's falling upon uh, deaf ears. Even in a lot of cases with the merchant line, they feel as though the, their issues are falling upon deaf ears. Now, this is really, really important because there is the social media influencers on here, let's say. They're genuine people. The people that I follow, they are, they are genuine people. The people that I know are genuine people putting out genuine content, and they're frustrated, and they're scared, and they're afraid of losing their businesses. So they're afraid of eBay and they feel that their voices aren't being heard. But that goes even deeper because each one of these channels that has 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 subs in them, they have a finger on the pulse of what's going on in the community because they read all their comments. Uh, and you'll have other sellers in their comments saying, I'm having this problem. Somebody else says, yeah, me too, yeah, me too, yeah, me too. So right there, you have someone who is basically... Uh, has an umbrella underneath them of maybe 20, 30, 40,000 sellers, and they're communicating with them every single day. And then they air their grievances. They say, yes, I see that too. And they, they air it on YouTube or Instagram or wherever, but it doesn't go any further than that. When they call customer service, it doesn't go any further than that. I think it's very important, and this is me speaking directly to the CEO, that 
that relationship is repaired. And I think it can be done quickly. My solution, and this is, I have no skin in the game really, other than I want my business to do well and I want my friends' businesses to, to do well. But I have no, I don't monetize. I'm not making money off of eBay's name on YouTube, nothing, right? But I think that that can be quickly repaired. I think there needs to be a conduit between the sellers and eBay where the sellers are feeling as though their voices are being heard and their problems are being worked on. Even if it's, look, we understand the problem. We see it. We don't want you talking about it on YouTube, but we are working on the issue. And here's what we're planning on doing. But you, you got to keep it to yourself. Have them sign an NDA or something. It would go a long way for the brand. It would go a very, very long way for the brand. And I, I think, I think this can be repaired, uh, but it, there, that voice needs to happen. That connection needs to happen. Um, it's, it's extremely important. And, you know, the, the, the whole network is there. The whole network is there of these sellers uh, on YouTube. They can be brand ambassadors for eBay if eBay were to take advantage of that. But instead, they're feeling like they're not heard. They're moving to other platforms, and then they're telling 30 or 40,000 other sellers, which are eBay's customers, to do the same because things are broken. This can't go on. This needs to be fixed and repaired. Uh, and what I would like to do as part of the solution is I would like to sit down with you, Jamie, the CEO of eBay, and just have a candid conversation, even if it's just half an hour long. Even if it's just me, I'll send you questions. You can pre-approve it, whatever you want, and I won't even send it out until you've reviewed it or whatever the case may be. But I would like to sit down and then at least start that dialogue so that sellers, like a first step, so that sellers feel as though um, eBay's listening, that it's not this huge, massive corporation that doesn't care. Because I've spoken to a lot of people, I'm getting excited now, but this is not me being hostile, this is just how I get. I've spoken to a lot of senior people in eBay and I really like them and I think they're really intelligent and I think they're great programmers, so it doesn't need to be this way. I think this can be fixed, but, but a seller's voice needs to be heard. It needs to be heard. And this has been going on, I feel like, long enough and I think it can be repaired. I would like to sit down. Now, now everybody watching this, this is a risk on my part because now I'm inviting myself, I'm trying to, at a seat at the executive table, right? In a multi-billion dollar corporation. Um, and I, I have no right to do that. I, at any time, there are eBay people watching this. I have, uh, I get messages from at ebay.com from people. And at any minute, they could just say, you know what? Just shut this guy up, stop. But... I am concerned long term because it affects my business as well and my friends' businesses. And these people running these big companies, I consider big, um, they're not big compared to eBay. They can feel it slipping through their fingers and it, it doesn't need to be this way. It doesn't need to be this way. Um, I mean, you think about the possibility of, because eBay's tried it already. They've tried it already. They've done seller spotlight, but it all comes from HR. It comes from the corporate uh, side of things, and it just doesn't it doesn't get traction because it's not real and genuine. Um, but you know, I know these people. We can we I'm saying we because now I'm inserting myself because I'm getting excited. But we can build a relationship. It can happen, and I think it would change things as as long as one thing. Not only are the sellers' voices being heard. Because let's, let's be honest, everybody on here, everybody who's, who's in the comment section or a lot of them are eBay sellers. Um, a lot of sellers will comment on my videos and other videos and they'll say, these are the issues that I have. Um, and, you know, a content creator will be sharing the same issues. They're just going to repeat it. I think that this can be repaired, but, but these, these grievances and problems have to be actionable. And... And it can be framed in a way that if it's a trade secret thing or you don't want to discuss what the problems are or it's being worked on, uh, you know, rather than having devs screaming at me in my comment section, you know, let people know, have them sign an NDA and, and they can't repeat it, but at least they know something is happening. So it changes the dialogue a little bit. 
Um, you know, so, I mean, now my brain is really going out there, but th this, the people, this is me now, I'm on my grandstand. And this is a risk, guys. This is a big risk. They could crush me in a second. And I, I feed two mouths off this business. So I'm taking a big risk here. But know, know that it's not coming from a, a place of greed. I just feel like something needs to be done. A lot of people are upset about it and they're saying stuff about it. But this to me is the solution. Reach out. Let's, let's repair the network. Uh, you, the, the people that are selling on eBay are truly... This is going to sound grandstanding, but they're the backbone of the American dream. They are starting their own businesses. They're bringing product to market, but right now they're afraid. And you could showcase these real people in real situations, building real businesses. And it would be great for not only eBay's brand showing that eBay is supporting them because I actually think eBay does. My, my full deep feeling is that the people at eBay really do support their sellers and they feel that way, but there is so much red tape and corporate nonsense that it doesn't make its way through. There's a lot going on on eBay with uh, people just calling, complaining, and the, these sellers, they get lost in the mix, but you can reach out, but it has to be organic. It can't be me saying this and then somebody goes to their, their HR department and says, yes, do what he said, and then it, you know it doesn't work that way. It's got to be a grassroots thing, and I think it, it, it's not even costly. You just got to do it. Someone's got to reach out, see these people, see their businesses. What are your grievances? What are your problems? It doesn't even have to be aired. Let me get back to eBay on it, you know, and create that dialogue so it doesn't feel like this dark horse corporation that has this umbrella of fear and terror over all these sellers who feel like everything they say is a risk because they're afraid of getting canceled or whatever the case may be. It doesn't need to be that way. You can showcase these people who are good, genuine people. I promise the people on here that I watch and that I follow, they're genuine, real, hardworking, backbone of America people. So this is my plea. And if you want to see the, this is going to resolve one way or another. So if you're interested in seeing what happens, subscribe and remember, I don't get any YouTube money from this, um, but I am, I feel like s something has to be done. Uh, you know, someone's got to put their arms down and, and say, Hey, we need to, we need to do something here. So, um, and then for people watching this, I would, I don't know what you can do really. Uh, just, you know, in your comments, what do you think about this? But I mean, I am, I am willing even on my own dime despite the fact that this business, as I've said, is tight as all get out because I've been experiencing issues as well. On my own dime, I am willing to fly out wherever I have to go to kind of make this happen because long term, this will benefit everyone. This will benefit the sellers because everybody watching this that's a seller, if eBay's brand and brand recognition is switched from glitchy, doesn't care about their sellers, big cold corporation that does whatever they want, greedy. If they throw all that off and it's, we are grassroots, we listen to our sellers. Um, we are supporting the backbone of America. We are rebuilding America. It is dark times it, with high interest rates and everything else. But here we have these people who are roughing it out and they're building their lives and blah, 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 blah all this stuff. If they can switch to that, it would benefit every single seller because that will draw more people in more people to the platform, better sales. It will showcase their businesses that they've been killing themselves for, for years, in some cases, 20 years. So this is how I feel. And I know this is grandstanding, but again, I can't reiterate this enough. This is a monster risk on my part because I'm getting out here, running my mouth, and I don't have anything to back it up. If, if I get, uh, if they shut me down because they've just had enough, then I'm back to the city and that's, you know, it's over. That's it. It's over. It's a very possible thing. So, um, and like I said, my kids rely on this business. Who am I? I'm in this little warehouse selling this stuff, but I think it doesn't have to be this way. We can, we can fix this, you know, and, uh, if it's something, you know, if it's my video quality isn't very good, I'll get Bo Johnson involved. I'm sure he'll be happy to do it. I'm sorry, Bo, for volunteering you, but you have great video quality. And we could do something and sit down or do it virtually and let's let's take the first step and build this conduit and 
that you guys get to take advantage of all these sellers on YouTube and Instagram and everything else. You can take advantage of that and change the narrative, but it's got to be real. It has to be real. It can't be this phony polished stuff. It has to be real, you know? So that's where I am with that. There will be resolution to this. Subscribe if you're interested to see what it is. Either I'm going to get suspended here for this and running my mouth or something might happen. I hope something happens. Um, I think that if things keep going the way they're going, um, you're going to see a lot more sellers leave. I think we're at a critical point here where the other platforms are seeing an opportunity with big influencers who are good, genuine, honest people, hardworking, that appeal to your average American, right? Which is just a hardworking person who, who wants better for, for them and their family. These genuine people appeal to everybody. And what those other platforms are doing is they're going to start grabbing them and pulling them in. I don't want eBay to lose those people. eBay is a great company. And this is, this is deeply how I feel. So let me know what you think about that. But I am splaying myself here. And it's not martyrdom, but I think that something has to be done. Would you guys agree in the comments section? Nothing, something needs to be done. I can already see in the comments there people are going to be saying eBay doesn't care. They're not going to do anything. It doesn't really matter to them. They're a big company. You're a nothing. They could be right, but it doesn't have to be that way. It does not have to be that way. No, it does not. No, no, no. Okay. I'm going to go to the comments. So if Jamie, if you are watching and I'm sweating, but, <laughs> and it doesn't have to be adversarial, it can be a dialogue and um, it could be the first step to repairing a relationship, which I think has to happen. You know, this has to happen. I, I don't want eBay to be a Sears. I can feel it. You know, you could feel it with Sears. You could feel the rumbling of it's for older people, it's Boomer, it's all this other stuff. You could feel it years and years ahead of time. And Sears did nothing about it. People saying they should go online, they should take advantage of this, this partnership, that partnership. You could feel it years ahead of time. They didn't do anything about it. And boom, that was it. I feel like concerned that that's where eBay is. And eBay has a lot of ambition and things they want to roll out. And they, I think they need the support of what is otherwise what is otherwise a fanatical community that loves the platform. Jamie, they love the platform so much. They're willing to dedicate 14, 16, 18 hours a day on the platform because they love it. They love it. They do their videos. They love it. They love, love, love it. I think that needs to be repaired. That's all I got to say about that. So, here we go. Comments. Um, wish I had a coffee. I need to just cool off. I can feel myself sweating because I'm I am excited, and you know my brain starts going out. Like, if 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 someone had a show on here, and it was called like Small Business Across America, and you went to every single sm and again, this has to be organic and real. It can't be polished. And you were to go see Noel and Bearded Picker and James uh, and J-Ride and you were to see their operations and what they're doing and just talk to them. It doesn't have to be some big thing, uh, but I think it would go a long way. It, I would watch it. It would be super interesting. Or Marcus or whomever or Tommy even. Tommy, I'll go to your house too. Uh, okay. We're going to go to the comments here. Guy Guru says, see a lot of familiar faces here. Yeah, this is a good, good, good group. I'm, I'm a little bit, things have moved so quickly on this channel in the past um, few, like even week, that I, I'm, I'm concerned that the OGs, you know, I want them to get a lot of, uh, a lot of time on here because... Uh, they've done a lot for me to build my business and I, you know, things are moving so quickly. So I don't know what to do about that, but, um, I thank all of you. I really do. The support has been incredible. Uh, drone 256. Good to see you. Can't wait for the message for Jamie. Kyle says, Hey, 
Guys, hey, how's it going, Kyle? Say hi to Holly for me. I hope you guys are getting good sales, Kyle. Good to see you again. And good to see you again, Drone. I am like, I get, when I get excited, I tell you, I start, I can feel my face get flush. Um, uh, Harbor's Hope, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Harbor's Hope. Roy G. Biv going way, way, way back, way, way, way back, 2009. Sup, guys? Good to see you, Roy G. Biv. It's been oh, 15 years. It's good to see you. Um, WTF, guten Tag. Guten Tag, WTF, or guten Abend. Rini reselling. Josh, ready to shake up the reseller community once again. I, You know, Rini, I don't, I don't necessarily consider myself to be controversial, but... I can see the macro direction that things are going. And I feel like for the benefit of everyone, like how does this, okay, let, let, let me go back. How would something like this not benefit everyone? It would benefit eBay and the resellers. Um, I don't want to see people leaving eBay. I love the platform. I've been on the platform for decades. I really enjoy it. I like buying. I find it interesting. I find it so fun to go treasure hunting for things or have things show up in my save searches that I've been looking for for 15 years and they erupt, there they are. It is a great and awesome and cool feeling. And I think that can be expanded. Other people can feel that way, whether it's Pokemon cards or baseball cards or hats or I don't know, steering wheels or whatever the thing is that you're interested in. Uh, Tommy Bernard, when will you be starting your Patreon and memberships now that your channel is blowing up? I never, ever, 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 and I promise you all, I will never put, and you can hold me to this and write it down, I will never put advertising, I will never have a Patreon, I will never have paid memberships, none of that stuff. I I am, first of all, I don't feel like I bring enough value that someone deserves to pay me. Like To me, it's like when you're working in an office, these are conversations you might have at lunchtime. I don't think that I should be paid for that, number one. Um, number two, I don't want to change my content to get views. So that's another thing. I don't want to do clickbait titles. I don't want to, I don't want to pervert my message. I, I don't want to do anything like that. Second of all, or third of all, I guess we're at, but the people in this room that are running bigger businesses than me, I'm just taking their ideas and then I'm saying it out of my mouth. They're the ones, who, they're the ones who should have Patreons and be getting paid because it's not an original thought. I'm seeing what you say, and then it's coming out of my mouth. Uh, I, it jumbles around in there a little bit, and then I just say it again. So uh, never, never, and I promise you that never, ever, ever. Um, that is not the road I'm ever going to go down. Uh, got some solds in there. Gary Thompson, good afternoon. New subscriber to your channel, First Live. Gary, welcome. It's good to see you. Um, Noel inviting me over for a coffee in the garden. Thank you, I appreciate that. Here's somebody at the door, one sec. And I am hot right now, it's not even a hot day, but I got myself all flush. Uh, I would love to, Noel. I'd come sit in the garden, we can watch the sun come up or the sun go down. Um, and just listen to the bees. I would be up for that any day of the week. Uh, Marilyn Wilson, hello from Arkansas. Hello, Marilyn, good to see you. Um, my boring reseller life, I sold my soul in hopes for more sales, fingers crossed. <laughs> hey, uh, I mean, this is the thing. Uh, everyone is doing now what they have to do, uh, but it doesn't have to be this way. eBay, eBay can come out of this as the brand champion, especially with a lot of these other smaller platforms struggling under the weight of high interest debt and not being able to get funding like it's a great opportunity ebay is going after the global market they're at a precipice here um i i i say this um and i mean it from the bottom of my heart i do not want to see 10 years from now people saying oh yeah eaton's sears kmart um i'm sure I, maybe there's some kmart still around and ebay i don't want that to come into the same sentence if only eBay would have pivoted. Um, I, I don't want that. I don't think anybody even from eBay wants that. I mean, it's their legacy as well, right? Nobody wants that. 
it can it can be fixed from a grassroots point of view. I'm I'm 100% confident. I'm 100% confident, and it can be done quickly. I believe that in my in my heart. Uh, New Day Donnie says hi to James. Uh, Bearded Picker is talking about solds. Uh, guide Guru. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to ask that question. Um, Noel, honestly, Josh, I think that the larger social media influencers are the biggest complainers. And honestly, again, I don't think that they are true sellers. They are YouTubers who sell on the side. Yeah, so, and, and, you know, Noel, that's a good point. So let me sum up what Noel is saying. Noel is saying that a lot of people on YouTube, they they're they're just YouTubers and they sell a little bit on this uh, on the side and maybe that buying and selling uh, is what gives them content for YouTube. But they're primarily YouTubers. Nothing wrong with that. that you know, and it is what it is. Uh, but those YouTubers might not be feeling the pain that some or they just don't have their finger on the pulse. I mean, if you go to Goodwill, to the Goodwill bins for an hour a week, and then you spend two hours or three hours a week listing it, and the rest of the time is building content, you're not going to see the same issues as someone who is on the platform 14, 16 hours a day that derives all their income from it. I agree with that statement 100%. Um, Chrissy, Rusty Bucket says, good morning. Good morning, Chrissy. Henri Squaw, I am fairly anonymous here, but thank you for speaking on behalf of some of us sellers. I would love for better communication, says Henri Squaw. I think a lot of people would. I think a lot of people would, and I think it's a doable thing. I really do. This is not, and, and I, I hope this doesn't come across as adversarial or me biting the hand that feeds me, which is also a risk, admittedly. Um, but this is like the olive branch of like, let's repair this and let's, let's do something um, before it gets out of control. Because I can see it on the on my side too, on the social media side. I follow a lot of people because I just run these videos while I'm doing my work. But I derive all of my income from my eBay business. All of it. 95% of it. Nothing from social media. Um, and I can see more and more prominent YouTubers who I consider friends on here. Uh, or at least people that I have frequent conversation with moving towards frustration, uh, fear, anger, and that wave is just growing and growing and growing. So something has to be done. I just don't think it can be done from the corporate side. I don't think they can go to their brand department or branding department or HR department and say, hey, everybody, let's pump out a few videos and uh, you know see how they're received and everything else. It won't be well received, which is why they turn the comments off on their videos. But I think that if it comes from a genuine place, from genuine sellers, uh, and it's raw, I, th I, I truly in my heart believe it can be repaired. I really do, because these people all love the platform. They love the platform. They're on it all the time. Um, like, Josh is way too serious to have me in the chat, like when I walk into a fancy store. <laughs> uh, that's the best leg. Uh, Noel, they rant and complain and don't really understand the platform. And I have unsubbed from the majority of them in the last few days and weeks because I'm tired of the bad info that they put out, in my humble opinion. Yeah, and I agree. And there's certainly that in in uh, in this, I want to say, community. You have the people who are, uh, you know, they're showcasing bolos and it's good entertainment and everything else. And then you have the group of people who are, they are, these are the eBay workers. They are the workhorses. They're researching they're listing, they're sourcing, and they derive everything comes from eBay. They're constantly trying to improve, get better. They're talking about their numbers. It's a, yeah, it's a totally different story, 100%. But also a lot of people, not a lot, uh, let me correct that because I don't want to say anything that's false, but there are other eBay full-time sellers who are now leaning on influencing more to subsidize the income they're not getting from eBay. And when you put five, 10, 15 years into the platform, giving it everything, and you feel as though the platform has taken an adversarial stance against you, it burns inside and it comes back out. 
And as they rely more and more on other streams of income, they'll move away from eBay and that anger and resentment is going to grow. Again, I think that can be stopped. That does not need to happen. And, but it's, it is close. It is close, right? This is like an emergency. Emergency broadcast. <laughs> emergency broadcast. This and I don't think it. You know, maybe it's not my place to be even doing this video. Um, I mean, I'm. I like I said, I'm inviting myself. This is a multi-billion-dollar company. These are people who, they can do whatever they want. Private jets, vacation homes, whatever that, whatever they want. And it's like they're having a boardroom meeting, and I'm going up to the glass, and I'm banging on it, and you can just hear my muffled like, "Hey, can I come in?" That's, that's kind of what it's like. I think 99 times out of 100, they're going to call security and get you out of there. But I, I feel like, I mean, who would I be if, if I, you see all these issues and you hear all these voices, but you never do anything about it? If I just sat here and complained or was miserable, as James says, we got to do something about it. So this is my attempt. You know, I'm reaching out. Jamie, I'd like to sit down with you for half an hour and talk. And uh, at the end of it, you can say, don't say this, don't say that. I'll take it all out if you want um, or, you know, whatever you want. But th this is me seriously reaching out. It won't be adversarial. I'm not going to ask stupid questions. I'm not going to put you on the spot. I'm not going to grind you. Um, I just, you know, you can grind me if you want. You can do that to me if you want, uh, whatever it is. But I just want to have that dialogue. I, w I would really like to have that dialogue. Uh, Noel says, great topic, Josh. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Tommy says, it's cute though, lag. Uh, I feel this heart beating in Delaware. I feel his heart beating in Delaware. Tommy, <laughs> maybe I should get my blood pressure checked. Um, also 47 yesterday or 48? There's a debate. I want to say 48. I think you were 47 and you turned 48. Scott, bearded picker, lag, you are welcome to go live on Wednesday, uh, you choose. I will boot everyone else, it'll be epic. Thumbs up, says Noel. Um, uh, Gary Mack says, I told them to jump in a lake and now I don't have to put up with their rules. Okay, this goes to another, Gary, I'm glad you said this because I got a lot of this yesterday too. If, and, and what you did is probably the right thing, Gary. If you choose to be on the platform, even with all these changes, then at least you know, with the changes, these are all known. You know, you know, pay to play, prices are going up, et cetera, et cetera, of shipping, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. These are all knowns. It's the glitches that are unknown. But the worst thing anyone can do is decide to stay on the platform and be really upset about it and do videos about it and get all this political interference and everything else into their mind uh, and not focus on the business aspect of it. So we are now, we can decide, I don't like it anymore and I'm leaving. I don't, I don't want that for, for eBay, but that can happen. People can do that. Uh, or you can decide to stay and be part of the solution, which I hope that's what I'm coming across as. Um, because right now the solution that other resellers are taking are cross-listing and, uh, and okay, this is going to, this is another one. This is another big point. I thought about this yesterday, but what a lot of other resellers are doing, they're starting to cross this because they have to supplement their income. Now I was thinking about this. I'm concerned because this is well within eBay's right that there will be some sort of punishment for cross-listing because it's possible and hear me out. What the cross-listing platforms are doing is they're pulling data from eBay. So when your listings are backed up onto one of these cross-listing platforms, they're actually pulling data off the eBay website and they're giving it to someone else and that someone else makes money off of it. eBay could have a big problem with that. And I think that if you left it up to the consultants and the lawyers and everything else, what they would start doing is just penalize people who cross list by, I don't know, somehow suspending site or uh, accounts or creating a block or whatever the case may be with no communication whatsoever. I think that would be the worst thing that could happen. I think a better thing would be to encourage them to stay here by opening up a dialogue with the sellers, opening up that conduit, take advantage of this organically grown 
group of people who genuinely deep inside, although it's starting to change, believe in the platform. Uh, okay. Migo. Hey, Josh, I agree. eBay needs to be a stable platform for growth for the sellers. It is in the best interest of everyone who has a stake. And that's, a, that's another great point because we're all stakeholders. They are stakeholders. We are stakeholders. Uh, our businesses depend on it. Um, and Wall Street, investors, everybody's a stakeholder. In the end, if we zoom out, it is better for everyone if we have like a renaissance, which is it's very, very capable, but I do believe it has to happen organically. It has to be genuine. Uh, bearded picker, are you in the witness protection program? <laughs> um, Rusty Bucket, lag, make a video telling everyone to buy from my store, please. Um, some joking. Henri Squa, I am finally getting set up to be able to cross list. I'm very excited. Yeah, I think... You know, a lot of people are doing it um, because they, they have to. It's not because they want to. It's begrudgingly. They have to. And uh, I think, you know, even worse is just not being able to communicate with eBay. Like, what, what do you want? What, what, what path should we be going down? What about this error that keeps occurring? Uh, what about this? What about that? I, it, it wouldn't take much. It, honestly, it would not take much. But it's got to be genuine and real. It can't be manufactured. Um, you read the Franklin horse heads in the chat for Josh guys. Let him not get steinered by eBay. I don't think that this crew uh, would would do that, but I, you know, it is. It's very possible that they just they don't want to hear this kind of stuff anymore and just tired of it and just like shut them off. It's very possible. Uh, Noel, also a lot of, a lot of the bigger or getting bigger influencers, sellers won't share their stories. Hard to take advice from someone who won't share their store, show solds that have been returned and sold. Yeah, there's that. There's that too. They don't want to share their numbers. Um, that, that is definitely, I'm candid about my numbers, but I think the people who have been down here, who are on here long enough, they know what my store is. They know what my numbers are. Um, but yeah, there are, there are some people that won't and they, they will do videos, of course, and their numbers, when you figure out who they are, they don't correspond to what they're saying. Yes, I agree. And I, I think, again, those are probably more influencers and less eBay sellers. Um, but you know, I, I, I just say it again, this is like a grassroots frustrated, angry, disappointed thing that's happening and it can be stopped it's better for the sellers and it's better for ebay and i with the new international shipping program you know and the need this is again me on my grandstand but the need in america for positive and hope and all this other stuff i think it would catch well i think it would catch well um and you would have thousands of influencers coming on here saying you know, I had lunch with someone from eBay. They, they, they flew down and they took me out for lunch and we just talked and you know what? They were super nice. And I, I've been doing this for 20 years. Nobody from eBay has ever just come out and talked to me. You know, I think it would go a long way. It would go a long way. Um, but it has to be real. It has to be real. It can't be the, it can't be manufactured. Um, Bearded Picker says, I hide my store. Maybe they won't figure it out. Um, Daniel Wasaki, next video title, I got Steinerd, a.k.a. I'm suspended. It could be. This is a huge risk. It's, I know it's a big risk. Uh, I know that other people who have um, tried to reach out <laughs> vanish into the ether, but... I'll be honest with you guys. Uh, I don't know that in five years, if I'm dependent on eBay as, as my business platform, I, I don't know that I'll even be around um, if it keeps going in this direction. Like something has to be done. It's not me challenging eBay or making fun of them or, you know, or stupid stuff or anything political. This is, this is like, can we please sit down together and do something? 
I think if if they were to suspend me now for this, or uh, something along those lines, directionally, even though I don't have that big of a following on here, but the people that are here are these are real deal, twenty plus years, fifteen years, six, seven, eight figure stores, big sellers. I've seen their warehouses and their operations and sent pictures. So I think that it would be a, it would be a, if I got suspended and that might be how this is resolved. So, you know, subscribe if you want to see how this goes. Um, I think it would be really reinforcing a narrative that is bad for the platform, but it's well within their right. Uh, I mean, you work for a company and you go into the CEO's office and you say, I need to sit down with you and I need to talk to you now about what's going on down here. Um, you know, you don't know how that's going to go. <laughs> You know, you have no business being in this office, young man. Out. Uh, <laughs> uh, guide Guru, may as well. Seems like eBay is hiding my store from customers lately. I just want to talk. Let's find out what's going on. Let's talk to them. They're good people, mostly. I've had some bad experiences, uh, you know, where I was communicating and they said, don't, don't send emails to me. I'm on paid vacation. And, you know, I'm like, well, how am I supposed to know when your paid vacation is? I thought we were talking. Um, but then again, I've talked to people where I was from eBay and I was like, you're extremely intelligent. And, you know, I'm excited for you. Like, I can hear what you're talking and what you're wanting to do. And it's making me excited. So I think there's a there's a good cross section, you know, as in with every corporation. But I don't want to say like this this view that they're the black suits bad, you know, that, I don't think that's the case, but there needs to be some repair happening here. And I think it, it starts with the first step, is sitting down and talking to people. Why not? Why not? Uh, Noel says multiple times and think that they are the bee's knees. They do not realize how easy it is to find them, to see their negatives, to see they don't practice what they preach. Noel's not talking about eBay. She's talking about um, some of the influencers on here that are are very loosely um involved in ebay you know garage sale on the weekend and then most of it's just video on top if they're it's a video production entertainment thing um i also you know noel i don't think that those are even bad people they're they're just focused on content creation so whether or not categories uh become horrible because they're showcasing a bolo item that you know maybe another seller gets good income from and that destroys the market, and that's just efficient market theory. Um, I think their their priorities are on their channel and building their channel and building income off their channel. So they're just testing things to see what lands. I don't actually think they care about any of the market segments that they sell in. That's how I feel. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's just a different business model. I can be upset about it, but I can't expect an influencer who is only influencing and very loosely tied to eBay, I can't expect them to have my business interests at heart when I'm very loosely involved in content creation and primarily on eBay. And we're in different spheres. Um, Rossi Bucket Chrissy says, a green OL. eBay Life says, great idea, Josh. They really should, there really should be a communication line that's only for sellers to have some sort of connected eBay support, uh, regardless of store level, to help both sides but really don't think they are interested. So here's the thing, Carl. You have um, a dedicated merchant line for Anchor, Enterprise, and Manage Accounts. And they can call and they can get hold of customer service, which will generally help them. I think that that should be brought to the Premier Store as well. But there are a lot of people, like, like let's look at it from eBay's point of view that call and they're just unhinged because I see it in my comment section. Uh, you ripped me off. This seller hasn't shipped in a day. Uh, why aren't I getting my payments? And these are all like very clear to us because we've been doing this a long time. These are easily solved problems. Um, and you know what, even in the video, like not, not necessarily me, but a lot of people in here resolve those issues for eBay, believe it or not. So if, if Noel's doing a live video and someone says, uh, how come my item got taken down? What's a Vero? She'll explain it to them. And then that's it. So I don't know that everybody should have that kind of access. 
because you end up bogging down the phone lines. And I'm sure that eBay's experienced that. Um, there are people that want their money back. They don't want to return the item. They don't know how to do the returns. They refuse to read something. They're hot. They're angry. And it just, you know, that I understand why eBay does not want to deal with that. However, at this point in time, a premier store could have up to 50,000 items in it if you include all the free listings. Well, and a store that's got 50,000 items in it could be doing a million dollars a year in revenue. That's a big store. That's a big business. And for a business like that not to have any sort of customer support or um, risk having their store shut down by the willy-nilliness of some bad actors or some, you know, wanton, like, out there Vero claims or something along those lines, I don't think that's right either. Uh, Tommy, eBay will never take anyone serious without data. Relying on YouTube and YouTube viewers for data is like relying on the government to be fiscally responsible. Yeah, so uh, empirical data, I mean, sure. What is the empirical data behind sentiment? If I have, uh, if I do a video where I say uh, there is so much opportunity in eBay going forward and they're going to get market share and... Uh, 90% of the comments are people saying that eBay doesn't care about you. What What is the data behind that, right? It's sentiment. So maybe the people that agree with me are not writing in the comments. I don't know. But I can tell you as a feeling, and this is not, uh, this is not backed by any empirical data, and I admit that fully, but I have noticed that in the past two years or so, it has been a very quick decline in sentiment and i think it's unnecessary i think it can be repaired i think it has to be repaired um kyle Havelka says i think that there should be a group of mid-level sellers and influencers the mid-level sellers have the knowledge of the platform and the issues and the influencers have the reach exactly i i agree 100 and again i'm not i'm not talking about myself but they like you said kyle they got the reach they have the reach. They have the fingers on the pulse. So uh, if Kyle is running a store with 25,000 items, I don't know what his gross is. He may not have time to do videos. Or maybe that's just not his thing. Um, maybe the 100% the focus is on the business, but he, he might have grievances that he feels are not being aired to eBay. Um, but since Kyle and all these other people are working all the time, these videos are in the background to pass the time as radio. A lot of people right now are listening as radio. Um, they will come in and they'll type in and say, yeah, I, I have that problem too. And I agree or I disagree or whatever the case may be while they're working. So 100%. And that may be the only way because they're sick and tired of calling the customer service line and not getting through. So I agree. There's so much value. I mean, eBay would have to vet influencers. You don't want... Uh, you don't want someone bringing you down that has some sort of radical ideology under the surface or, you know, long criminal history or something like that. But, I mean, eBay could get involved in this and be like the man behind the curtain, really. I mean, uh, it doesn't have to be eBay branded, but it would start to open up the narrative, build that conduit, build the pipeline between the platform and the sellers, and start, let's start shifting this around. Let's turn this around and let turn eBay into this. This place is fun and exciting because that's what it started off as being. And it, it still is that way for a lot of buyers. It hasn't bled as much to the buy side yet, but it's coming. It's got to be turned around. Uh, okay, thumbs up if you agree. Thumbs up if you think that if you agree. Comments if... You think I'm wasting my time and I'm risking a lot for nothing. Um, okay. Uh, <clears throat> anytime picker. Hello, everyone. Hello, anytime picker. Um, guide guru. I don't know about that. Uh, I'm not going to say the comment, but I don't think anyone... I don't think anyone needs to resign or anything like that. I just think we got to just try something new and change the change the narrative. It's got to shift gears. You know, nothing drastic. Nothing drastic. No no 
it has to be on this or that. Let's work in the middle and let's figure out, okay, how do we change things? I mean, I don't know James personally, but I've been talking to him for a while. I think if eBay were to reach out and be like, hey, can we sit down for a coffee and uh, let me know what what you the issues are and you write it down and say, hey, like I've enjoyed this coffee. Why don't we grab lunch and you know, what do you sell? And just, hey, do you mind if I come by in a month and just see how you're doing, check up on you, see how your business is going? You know how far that would go. He would go onto YouTube and he would say, I just spoke with eBay. It was the greatest thing. They've never done that in 20 years. It was incredible and blah, 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 blah. And that would, everybody would be like, oh, wow. I can't believe eBay did that. It would explode out into the community, but it has to be, it has to start genuine from our side. And this is why I think I agree with Kyle. Take some mid-level people that you think are capable of repairing this and building it, take them and let them get embedded and talk to these people and then listen to their problems. And then that has to be actionable. Actionable. Not, yeah, yeah. All right. Has to, something has to be done. You know what? You know what? Uh, I'm sitting down with you and I hear what you say. And last week I talked to Marcus. And then, uh, you know, the, the couple days before that I talked to Noel. And you guys are all saying the same thing. I'll tell you what. Let me work on it. And I'm going to get back to you in three weeks or two weeks. And we're going to figure out what's going on. And I'm just going to call you directly and say, hey, um, you know, this is what the problem is. This is what we're looking to do. Uh, but you know, NDA, you can't disclose this to anyone else. You know how far that would go? You know how far that would go? This might be a mistake. This whole video might be a mistake. Um, I'm like, maybe I should tell people not to share it, but then they'll just share it. Maybe I should delete it afterwards, but I don't do that. I, but this might be a mistake. We're going to go with it. Let it ride. Let it ride. Uh, uh, Tommy agrees. Doesn't matter what it is. Hey, Fro uh, Cells. Yes. What are you proposing? I just got in here. Good morning, Josh. Uh, you probably are caught up to speed by now because I'm so far uh, behind. Kyle Havelka says the mid-level sellers can provide the data. Yeah, and they can provide the sentiment as well. Um, and I guess we're, we're saying that the sentiment is the data. But there needs to be a sentiment change. I, I, I would think anybody on eBay watching this, unless they don't care about the, the, the company, there will be people watching this from eBay that are like, you just don't understand, you know, you get those comments, or they just don't care. They come in, punch in, do their thing and leave. It doesn't really matter. Don't really care. But I think, you know, if anyone who really is deeply involved and cares about the platform. Okay, I'm going to talk about Jeff. I'm not going to say his last name, although some of you know who it is. The guy dedicated his life to GSP. Now, imagine dedicating your life to building that program and then having it, you know, okay, get rid of it. We're going to try a new one. And then he dedicates his life to that. Okay, we're going to get rid of it. Let's start a new one. Despite... The third iteration of this global shipping program, which is the new EIS, he was, and the fact that he talked to like five or six resellers every single day, he still was full of energy and excited for the rollout. Excited and interested and very engaging. I think there are some great people there, and I think the great people want to see a, a shift in narrative as well. I think the great people want to build that relationship as well. I believe that. Um, Noel says, I love eBay. So I, I get frustrated? Yes, I do complain. Or do I complain about them on my channel? Nope. Do I help to teach policies and to fix stuff, uh, fix stuff, real stuff? Yes. Others do not. And that makes me sick. Yeah. And I think, you know, you are then an unpaid ambassador for eBay. And there's nothing wrong with that. You do it genuinely because you love it um and i think that's a good thing i think a lot of people feel that way i think ebay working or starting your own ebay business in many cases leads to content creation because you're so isolated you're here by yourself 
working 12, 14 hours a day, no one to talk to. So it's like reaching out <laughs> to other people. And then other people in the community are very receptive because they're doing the same thing. And I can say for myself, I was very welcomed into um, this community of influencers and resellers. Very, very welcomed. People were like, hey, let me help you out. Um, I'm going to send you some stuff. I'm going to mention your channel. I'm going to recommend you. I'm going to this, like open arms. So the fact that this community is like that means, you know, that switch can happen. That switch can happen. I, I really believe it deep down in my heart. Uh, oopsies, 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 oopsies. Trying to get used to this new laptop here. Um, bearded picker. eBay is missing a huge opportunity. They need to stop trying to be Amazon and forge their own way. Uh, they have a unique opportunity to serve buyers and sellers, but too many venture capitalists. You know, uh, I, I'll just, you know, I agree with you, Scott. I, I don't, I don't know how to respond to that comment. Because although I believe that it exists and it's a big company and as Hayfro sells its blue chip now, and I agree with all those things, um, it still, it still has to build a relationship with its customer and the customer being the seller. Um, it has to build that relationship. Otherwise, the good sellers that depend on eBay for their income are going to move to other platforms. And what you have less left are sellers that are not providing the level of quality that eBay needs. Poor customer service. This is going to bog the company down. The people I see that are getting frustrated, they do this full time. 20 years, 15 years, completely dependent on eBay income, willing to do absolutely everything that eBay says um, and be good brand ambassadors for the, the company are now moving on to somewhere else, not because they want to, but because they have to, have to, don't want to. And, you know, if there were some sort of dialogue with the company, uh, they might not be doing that. I, I believe that. Something. And everybody watching this, it's only going to get worse. If this continues on, it's going to get worse. More and more people are leaving, um, and it's going to get worse and worse. I, I do believe that. I don't want eBay to be Sears. Uh, Lag says, this is the best eBay has ever been in the last 15 years. Um, yeah. You know, I don't know. Maybe. Definitely a sentiment issue. Um I don't think that that view is necessarily shared with a huge, uh, a huge, huge number of sellers. So even if even if you were to believe that, or I were to believe that, or or you know Tommy or whoever, um, there are thousands of people uh, with at least some amount of pull on social media that are not saying that. So I think that it's important not to get burro stubborn about it and say okay it's fine it's good we're just going to keep forging forward um we need to bring these people on board uh guy guru said then kmart bought them then look at kmart um well says don't mess with me scott i'm coming for you silver hair stacker todd yes when i see things like uh, a seller having an account monitored or money held or suspended without copious amounts of communication it's not good he would never have done that video. If if eBay had reached out and said, hey, look, um, this might be frustrating for you. I understand. And real. Genuine and real. I understand. We have to do this. Please don't worry. Here's my number. Give me a call. Like, don't, don't give this number out or whatever. But give me a call. Send me an email. And we'll work through this. Um, and I'll keep you up to date every step of the way and let you know why and what's going on without divulging trade secrets. Uh, you know, and I think that video never would have happened or the video would have happened and Kevin would have said, my account got frozen and I was really concerned, but you know what? It was so nice of them to reach out to me and say, this is what's happening. This is why it's happening and blah and blah and blah and blah. And really I slept well at night, you know, rather than 
being awake all night, am I going to lose it all? Am I, am I going to have to go back to teaching? Like, what am I going to do? Why are they doing this? Going on to YouTube, seeing all these things. I got suspended. I got suspended. I got suspended. Going to the community boards where all the trolls say, uh, yeah, you're going to get suspended. Your account sucks. Get uh, No, no more. Stop. Doesn't have to be that way. Okay. We're one hour in. I'll do a few more, but um, uh, Carl from eBay Life says he agrees with Bearded Picker. Um, Urethra Franklin says only Kathy Terrell will save us all, and maybe Suzanne A. Wells. Kathy Terrell is a. Uh, she's actually got a pretty good inside track on. Uh, I don't know who Suzanne Wells is, but Kathy Terrell has a pretty good inside track with a, a lot of stuff going on on eBay. Um, I'm subscribed to her. I watch her videos. Um, Drone256 says, question for Jamie. Need some insight into algos that provide visibility to listings promoted or not. Need a feedback loop to know if I should pay more to promote. That's the tricky thing. So questions like that drone, I think they're well placed. But I think the concern with eBay is they've spent so much money building these algorithms and they're concerned that if the information gets out that their competitors will use it against them. Um, so I think that's part of the issue, but I think broadly eBay could say, we are improving our promoted listing system. So although your data may show that there's no improvement, we can assure you moving forward it will be but not cold like a genuine hey let's have a conversation unrecorded sort of thing i think ebay is also concerned about the liability i've seen P ebay reps have candid conversations with with people and then the people um put it out onto the internet which i think was not a good good thing to do um but i think that those candid conversations can happen uh maybe under an nda i mean e ebay can send out infinity ndas if they wanted to um which would really stop any kind of silliness or stupidness but i mean the whole of silicon valley is moving towards open source even with banking uh so opening up a little bit i mean something's got to happen got to open up a little bit and build that dialogue i think it's important it's really really important uh Anytime Picker says, Josh, it's a very serious subject. Good job, Josh says, Noel. Thank you both. Um, bro, says Steve W., sounds like you have had a coffee. This is this is how I roll. I get, I get, I get excited and very, like, ah. But, um, yeah, it, and also, Steve, it's important to me. This is an important issue to me because it affects my business. And I have chosen... I left my corporate job and I risked it all to do this. And I've got little kids that depend on me. Um, like a lot of other people here, most people. So it is in my interest for this to be repaired and move forward in a positive direction. I don't like the direction that it's going in. There will be people in here that disagree and say everything's good uh, and that this whole discussion is unwarranted. But then you'll have others that say, uh, no, this is essential that we have this, this discussion. So... Um, anyway, I'm going to leave it there. We have 125 people watching. Please hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Uh, and if you want to see the resolution to this, whether it's me getting suspended or eBay reaching out, I think one or the other will happen. I have a feeling that this video is going to grow some legs, um, because it's an important thing. This is important. And I think a lot of people feel this way. So if you want to see how this ends, subscribe and, uh, other than that, I hope you all have some great sales, and uh, I wish you all the best this afternoon. Take care.